Tina Guns is in the building today. Yes. Oh yes. boy. <laughs> so I, me and Peter know each other and have seen each other out a few times as of recent. And every time we're like, yo, we gotta, you gotta, we gotta we, talk. We gotta. We gotta talk. And I always say, what's happening with you? <laughs> Cause it's so weird to like know you and know you, you know, your career and stuff and right. whatever. And then we see you. each other a long time. Yes. So to see me on Love and Hip Hop, I know you like some of my family members and friends are like, what's going on with you? And then yeah. so much of you on Love and Hip Hop. Right. So much of what's happening. It's the juice. They want it. They want they, it's the it's the craziness. People like to see it and watch it. Um, you know, not something that I'm all the way proud of though, Ange. You know? Really? No. Wait, what do you what are you not proud of? I'm not proud of seeing two two um women that I really, regardless of what people think, I love. Um, you know, the mothers of my children it um get crushed. Mm. people call them dumb and stupid and and see them hurt mm. over uh my behavior so i'm not i'm never proud of that is it one thing to like be living the life but then when you see it back like do you watch it back yeah you know <clears throat> when you're saying things and doing things you you know to you to me it's weird because it seems like entertainment you know what i mean it's, it feels like that when you're shooting and you're doing stuff like oh it's just TV. and then but it's my stuff is so real that you know it trickles off into my real life. Like some of the cast members might be able to go home and take a glass of wine. and You don't know. I, I'm not calling nobody out, but you know, they stuff don't really be that authentic. Right. Me, it follows me 24 hours a day. Like, mm -hmm. how could you have said this? How could you do this and this and that? So, but after a while, you know, I'm really too old for this. So, and that's why now moving forward, that's just not the case anymore. But what do you mean? You're moving forward from what? Um, You know, Amina's moved to LA. Mm -hmm. She's, for the, for the first time, uh, she came to me and she put some things on the table that she needed me to change. And I was honest with her for the first time. I was like, I, I look at you. Yeah, I look don't think at I you, grown up. So she moved. She was like, well, I'm going to L.A. What is the truth, though? What did you say? What was honest? Well, she was she had she had made a few rules like, you know, going in, you know, uh, going in Tyra's house and picking the kids up. And, you know, that's got to stop. The kids got to come here. We got to, you know. This Tara stuff has to stop. Also, you know, I just want you to, you know, just be. She wanted me to be what I'm supposed to be. Right. <laughs> she wanted me to be faithful. <laughs> husband, it wasn't, yeah, and, all of that. Yeah. But it wasn't a faithful part, you know. But um, I'm seeing a therapist. I'm not ashamed to say that anymore. Wow, that's crazy. Because earlier today was when I was on my way in, I wondered. Yeah, Have yeah. you ever, because you know, behavior comes from shit you learn or grew up right. seeing. I'm sure your mm -hmm. father probably had to have oh some similar You know, he's not habits. here with us no more, but boy, if I tell some of his I stuff. bet. But at so, the same time, but with that being said, for a long time, I was in denial. You know, I don't need no therapist to tell me. This is normal. This is what men do. Yeah. And finally, I put my, and it's been the best, it's the best decision I've ever made in my life. What are you learning? What did they tell, tell you? Just um, the truth. Which is? Tell the truth. Oh, tell the Stop truth. Stop lying. Tell the truth. And if and if that person can't deal with the truth, and you know he he this my um, therapist was the reason why I told Amina the truth. He told me just tell the truth, and she and left. And it truth? was hard. The truth is, I can't do that. Yeah, I mean, I, when it comes to my kids, like my kids, they that's who drives me. So, I what does that do mean that. for the marriage? That the marriage is not gonna make well. It. We are separated. Separated. Now. Mm -hmm. Um, but we it's not ugly. It's cool. You know, I'm gonna go out there and see and see her. And my daughter, and of course, I'll be there for the birth of my new daughter, Bronx. Bronx will be here in July 31st. Wow, what a complicated life you lead. Yes. So you're still kind of together. Are you still kind of together, though? Like, no. Because <clears throat> this is the thing no. with you, man. You leave these, like, it's like a window of, like, she's we're separated she moved there but i'll be there with her when the, and then you have a moment and there's candles well, and then, then no. there's a, let me you know what i mean and then well, it's response it's the responsible thing for me to do is be there for her and my yeah. daughter so do you think you could be a married man like a real like mm, i hope so mm. i hope so i want to I, you know it's um it's you just have hopes for that marriage to work um sometimes mm. sometimes i but i feel and like I did so much damage mm -hmm. to both women that um, it would never be the same. Yeah. I would never be trusted. I would have to hear about this for the rest rest of my life. Like especially with Tara. Tara reminds me all the time. How could she not? She probably she had it the longest. Well, with, with, with Tara, Tara, yeah. Amina gets mad at me for saying this, but Tara got it the worst. Mm -hmm. And people say, "Oh, that's not true. You do Tara worse." I mean, Amina worse. They both got it bad. Mm -hmm. But with Tara, when we signed on to do the show, 
um, Tara didn't know anything about me and Amina. She just knew that I was working with her and I liked her music and I want to manage her. And she knew that Amina was dating somebody that I knew, so she never really pressed the issue. So she came on the show and I just think that if she had known that I was um, messing with Amina, let alone married to Amina, you know, she wouldn't have did the show. Yo, the, your story is bananas. It's so crazy. Yeah. It's got to be crazy for you to see <laughs> it back. Well, <clears throat> yeah, you know, oh. in doing the show though, Angie, it was it oh, was Oh my god. It was no malice. It was all good intentions. You know, I felt like it would help Tara with her acting, help Amina with her music, and then make a lane for me to provide for my children. But I still feel like um like, you know, so much was revealed and they they taking a hit. And I just wish that people would put that towards me. I know everybody says they're grown women. They stuck around. They should know better if they stuck around. They did, and they right. are, and they are. But they love. It was it was out of love. I mean, I guess people always gonna have shit to say about them. But they both seem like nice girls. Like they don't come off like you know what I mean. They no, come off like they made sweetheart. mistake. You know they. Well, they, uh, the they only mistake they, they, right. I'm the only mistake that 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 they made. <laughs> <laughs> Other than me, they they. I mean, you know, they're good. I, they just, you know. It's crazy that when I saw the reunion and you and Cardi was going back and forth and she was kind of getting at you. Right. And you got angry. You got upset at first. You apologized then and were like, you're a kid. Yeah, I, I said, well, I said some things to, to her that I never should have said. Right. Let me, let me go back and say this. Anybody from the Bronx, uh -huh. I don't care who you are. If you're doing anything, I'm for you. So in every interview, I would big Cardi up. Like, yo, she's she's funny. She, you know, she's the kids love her. funny. So I I I was I was rocking for her, but somebody came and told me yo she really don't like you and this and that and I was and I even said that's cool because I like um she loves Tara and anybody that loves Tara or loves Amina I don't care how they feel about me I I love them you know what I mean just mm -hmm. for embracing Tara like that so you know but you know a cast member had told me you know I don't want to put that out there yo she really feeling you like that and and I and instead of me being an adult and going over to Cardi I'm like yo, what's your problem I know you don't like what I'm doing on the show but from the Bronx, from the Bronx, what we doing, you know, whatever. And have a conversation with her. I just had an attitude the whole reunion. And she was taking a little, you know, the creeps. Call. I'm not no creep at this and that. So right. after a while, the, a question came up of what you would ask a man if you saw him. And I think the misunderstanding for me, and I hope, you know, I think it was a misunderstanding that they asked, like, if you, if you, um, when you meet a man, but you ask him, and I, and it was like some money stuff. And I was like, well, if we're talking about money and you're doing that, which I should have just stayed out of it. But that went left. and It went uh, left. And Cardi was able to say a lot of things that a lot of women, including some of Tara and Amina's family, wanted to say to me. I wasn't mad at her for that. And mm. so I had to apologize to her for that. She apologized to me, too. But I know that where she was coming from, she was coming from as a young lady that, you know, she admires Tara. So I wasn't all the way even, I didn't even think she should, she didn't have to apologize for that, really. Do people feel like they could just run up on you and say anything because they know your business? Never. Really? It could go left. That, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not, I don't play that. Yeah, but your whole life. People would drive by your... in a car and say something, but Angie, I'm telling you, this is going to sound like bull crap, but uh -huh. I can't walk through a mall or airport or down Times Square without people running up asking, those same people Yeah. that's blasting me on they want pictures. Yeah. My mother loves you and, and they FaceTime. And so has anybody like famous or anybody unexpected felt like they could come up yes. to you? And I was in a comedy club with Tara one night and Denzel Washington came behind us. Shut your face right now, Peter. Oh, Gus. I, I know this sounds like I got pictures to back it up. Anybody that's Academy go Award season. winner Denzel Washington. Yes. Watches the show and was telling Tara. He watches Love and Hip Hop. Yes, he told Tara, you got to kick his ass. That boy crazy. <laughs> Y'all crazy, show. crazy. I said, you watch the show? He said, yeah, I'm going to do watch movies. So he's Team Tara. Um, <laughs> That night he was. <laughs> that night, <laughs> that he, was. night he, was, he was. Yeah, he was saying, I guess it was a scene where Tara had, you know, lost it on me. And he was like, yeah, keep kicking his ass. Wow. Like that. That's amazing. Yeah, a lot of, you'd be surprised, people that watch the show. And I t we took a couple pictures and we talked a little bit after that. And, Denzel Washington. Yes. Out of all the questions I had, I, I could have asked Denzel, what question do you think I asked him? I don't know. Is there a movie that you regret turning down? He said no. And then he turned back and said one, maybe. What? Seven. He said he was supposed to be Brad Pitt in seven. Wow. 
but he turned it down because the script was too dark. What were you interviewing him in the middle of the spot? Well, you, you, you <laughs> know how? You, let me tell you, so he's absolutely my favorite, a, a, one of my favorite people ever, my favorite actors ever. So mm. I had a million things I wanted to ask him. You know, I wanted right. to ask him something personal, like, how do you do it with your wife? How do you just, you know, but that's right, right. to me, you know, it was corny. So I said, a question I want to always ask him, is there a movie? And he said, no. But then he turned around and said, one, maybe. Maybe. And even now, it's still it's still a little too dark. And plus, what Brad Pitt did to it, you know, you can't. Ever. It's crazy to me that Denzel Washington watches Love & Hip Hop. I don't know why that is just making my brain spin. To you, I'm walking on eggshells, you know. I had met him once or twice with Shaq before, but not he, not that he would ever remember that. Oh, my God, you used to work with You did yeah, Shaq, songs with my Shaq. Brother. Shaq is Corey, Corey's god, Dad. Is he really? Yeah. So do you get like tickets to the games? To whatever I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, whatever. I know, is that a weird question? That's whatever just I the need, first thing that came to my if head. If I ever need tickets or if I ever need to go to Orlando, whatever. Shaquille O'Neal is your son's father. Your son's godfather. First god that, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's up with your son? Working. He's working. He's, you know, young money was going through their little situation. That's clearing up. So he's working on his new project. He got that a affected thousand him. Thousand songs. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anybody under the umbrella, everybody under the umbrella was affected by that. But it was cool mm-hmm. because I think that he's he's growing to his adulthood now. His stuff is mature and it's some of the, you know. I'd be curious to hear what his, sound, his stuff sounds. I feel like he had such a moment where there was so much, so many eyeballs on him. Like he had such a, right. like Nick Cannon was managing him, right? Right, right, and right, right. The Young Money thing. Y'all yeah, had the so show. Much. Yeah, so much. I and mean, then, we got, we and him got an arsenal together that we did together, two guns up. A t- mm-hmm. a, a album and a tape that I'm holding because I don't want his first look to be with me. You know, no. so Corey was the I first that. reason that I uh, that I was holding off doing the show for two years mm-hmm. because I didn't want it to affect him. You know, what I mean, oh, your father, your father. But he, it turns out that he is that's that's my dude. So he's he's ready to go again. He's trying. He's going to go another oh, yeah. round. It's coming. So with them clearing the stuff up, so he's still with Wayne. Is he still signed yeah, he to signed, Wayne? He's yeah, signed, Young Money. Yeah. Shout out to Young Money. They, you know, Corey had caught a, uh, a little gun possession. I know. Back, I remember. And they put up the money and made sure he stayed out of jail. So big up to Young Money. That was a bad time for that too. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible time. Yeah. Like, it was. That was really stressful for me because I know that. I try to tell the young kids. You know, I got a thing I do now called Guns Against Guns. Ever mm-hmm. since that. Um, it's three to nine. Nothing to talk about. Wow. Corey was fortunate, but if you out there walking around with it, just be prepared to sit up. Three, three to, to nine. nine. But, you know, got the lawyer. Shout out to Xavier. Stayed away from the courts because the more people show up to court, the more he looks like a star. So we did the reverse. Nobody goes to court, just him and his lawyer. Wow. Is that right? Yeah. You go in there, this is young money, Corey Guns. They make example out of you. So no way, no bird, man. Nobody. <laughs> He's by himself. He don't have nothing. He took his... Family took their hard-earned money and paid for the lawyer. And he's here by himself, and that's how we that's how we wow. reversed it. Well, he's lucky he got another chance. That's great. Yeah, he's good. Good for him. Yes. All right. So, are you good? Like, are you good? Are you gonna continue doing this show, or are you like, what happens now? Yeah, are you gonna yeah. have the babies on the show, you got, well, you and you gonna the see- babies are gonna raise together on the show? <laughs> no. Like, how far does this go, Peter? It's, it's over. Now it's cleanup time. <laughs> Tyra moves on. Amina's in L.A., and Peter got to show himself. You know, where he's going now. You know, I can't. Is therapy I can't gonna, leave on that note. Is the therapist going to be on the show? Possibly. Oh, okay. You know, he doesn't really want that attention. But it's possible because I'm a work in progress. I don't want it to look like. Anyway, they have that love and hip hop therapist that sees everybody. They'll probably just <laughs> stick him in with you. You do a session there. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that. You talk to Tara. <laughs> <laughs> he's on all the shows. Yeah, he's good, that though. Dude. Yeah, he's good, but he likes the TV. Yeah. He he likes, some people. Some, some people, people don't, don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, so, yeah. So, I think, you know, to see. So you're gonna redeem yourself in the new season? Is that what? Impossible for me to ever redeem myself. Oh, okay. Nobody, it's nobody will fully ever say, "Oh, you know what?" You know, but that's not true. Trying, anything is possible. Yeah, you know, my friend told me today, "Yo, man, some a lot of celebrities out there had some bad reputations and doing things, and you're just really only guilty for loving two women, dealing with two women, which is true." I've never been in court for child support. I take care of all my babies, all my babies. How would, how do you do that with all them children? How many kids do you have? You take care of your kids. How many kids do you have? Nine. Eight, eight, nine. Nine. And is that including the ones on the way? No. One. How does one take care? No, just right logistically. How well, do you take care of 10 children? Fortunately. That's a reality show, by the way. Well, just, oh, that's your spinoff. Yeah, Guns Peter Reloaded. Peter plus 10. Guns Reloaded. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. your show. Yeah, well, you know, like I said, I'm fortunate that I have women that's that do, you know, that's doing well for themselves. 
And they understand that when Peter has, he gets the shirt off his, you know, back. He gives us everything. He, I spoil my kids. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down. I'm fortunate. Uh, the mothers of my children are wonderful. You know, they do well for themselves. And, and, and um, I'm just fortunate for that. I know some guys that got some are you gonna situations. Do a, are you going to do a show with your children? I would love to. Good Lord. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, man. It's, <laughs> Yo, it's, how do you have any time? And I it's have... beautiful. That's a lot. That's t- I'm That's tired. Beautiful. I come from a big family. So you do? I How many brothers and sisters you got? Nine. Wow. All right. Uh, the last thing about that, and then we can talk about something else. But um, so, but where are you going to be in a relationship with either one of these two women at this point? Well, <clears throat> right now I'm working on myself. I got to focus on myself. Um, they deserve better. And but and you love so both of them still. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. I can't, yeah. I can't. Yeah. I passed a lie detector test twice. That said what? If that matters. Because people say you can't be in love with two people. And you and you took a lie detector test twice. Two times. The show made you take it? No, no, no. I the girls. That. I did that on my own. Because it was a lot of people questioning that, a lot of different blogs, a lot of so I let people pick pick the person you want to do it. So you don't think that I rigged it and I did it and passed it twice. No, you totally can love two people, but the the problem is when you put yourself in a position That's wrong. When you put yourself in a position to start having a relationship and having love for somebody else when you're in a committed relationship oh, with the that's other person. completely wrong. Yeah, once you do that, you could totally love two women. Right. I mean, yeah, it doesn't stop you from loving them. It's just yeah. wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Unless all parties agree, and that would never happen. Either. Yeah, why don't you just do that? <laughs> Nobody. Why don't you find that type of situation? I hear situation? that all the time. No, they would never do that. No, but we're not them, but maybe, like, find another situation like that. Well, you have to care about, and you have to... That's the crazy thing. It's only two women I was that was like that. Well, you have to really care about. Like this thing is not a game. <laughs> you love. don't want just two women to have two, two women. arbitrary. No, no, no. Not you want all. them or one of them or well, something. I wanted. I wanted. That's right. not what I want anymore. Got it. Oh, such a little complicated life you lead, Mr. Gunn. Yeah, I'm working on myself, though. <laughs> I like that you're in therapy, <laughs> this is, though. This is therapy right now. Is it really? Yes. Stop. I would love to have, like, a real therapy, full therapy, one of your therapy sessions. Uh, please. Because all of it comes from something. All of the behavior comes from something. So yeah, it's probably, I, like, I was from your denial. parents. I was in denial, denial of that and, childhood stuff. But yeah. it's true. You know, you can sit there. You don't never want to blame your parents for anything. Right. But truth of the matter is some of my... Some yeah, but your stuff. parents have the bullshit that they got from their parents, probably. Right. It's so everything comes from something. You just got to figure out what it is so I you can break the people, bad I habits. I tell people that all the time. And the people, what's crazy, the people that's judging me. I just wish we could put a camera on them. Oh, well, you know. I know that, you know, you got some some skeletons in your closet that you wouldn't want, you know, you wouldn't yeah. want out there. So I always I always laugh at that, too. Like, people act like their relationships are just so perfect. I was saying that one of the new, on the news, you did the, that show or whatever, and you were saying that everybody you know, every man that you know has, like, a side piece or something. Well, no, what I, I, that's not what I said. What I meant was, I, ne- well, I haven't met a, no, no, said, <laughs> no, I'm going to give it to you. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to give it to you straight. Every man that I know know has cheated. Because your voice just cracked again when you said it. Oh, no, every but, man you know has cheated. Yes, I never met a man that didn't cheat. Really? Not that he has a side piece. I don't know what his side piece. I'm just saying, has he ever stepped outside of his relationship? Oh, in his life or, or or his cheating? In his life. Right. In his life. I wasn't saying this. I don't know what a person does day to day. I would never throw a person under the people. So you don't have any friends. This is the pro- this is the problem. Here's the problem. Do you have any friends that are in like healthy monogamous relationships? Yes. Where are they? Who are these? Around. Guys, friends? Yes. Oh, so you do okay. know people. Yeah, but I, I I don't I can't say they never did nothing. Ah, you see I see. what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I'm not saying that man don't exist. Right, right, right. I just never met him. You haven't met him yet. I ain't He's mean. not in your circle. That's not the in problem. my circle. Because you be hanging out with the creep squad. That's why. <laughs> 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 I, I wouldn't call it that, man. Yo, Ed, that's another thing. You know how many men and hate, women come yeah. up on me and say, Yo, you know I'm a creep at. Or you know I'm a creep squad, <laughs> oh right? I just God. like you. It happens all the time. And the creep squad is just That's a like joke. It. It's just, it was a joke that just everybody just took and just ran with. You're not like, about to get tatted up or anything. Creep squad tats. Oh, there's no real. It's so creep funny squad. that this thing grew legs, and I'm mad that we don't have t-shirts and hats and everything. Yeah, I was like, wildin'. who knew that people were going to take this little joke thing? Because creep, it, when when I say creep, is creeping. Mm. People say creep as in a like an attitude. And I'm not, I don't. I would never consider myself a creep. Like you know what I mean. But <laughs> when I say creep, is creeping. We creeping, we creeping. Oh, yeah, That's I what I was it. thinking. I didn't understand. But some people was taking it as, yo, he's a creep. He's, you know, and I, I'm like, wow. I want you to get, I want you to get friends that have like healthy relationships. <laughs> I want you to have a couple of friends. I want you to make friends. Go to like a group. 
Like, you know, these well, groups, like recovery my brother, groups? My brothers have healthy relationships. Okay. Like, my friends do have healthy relationships. You know okay, what I mean? Good. So, but I'm, 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 I'm a work in progress. And then it doesn't help. You know, we got, I'm always at the restaurant. We got Get Soul. He was up there. I did. I part, was. Part owner up there in that restaurant, Get Soul. New Michelle come through. But I'm at the restaurant a lot. Um, and there's a always lot of young, out, beautiful women. Always doing, yeah, but no. I, there's no other women. Promise you. They would have been out already. Promise you that. There's no other women. No. Just these two. Yeah. And, and then these two you're not even dealing with right now. Right. I'm so there's nobody in your life right now? Fixing it's. I'm fixing. I'm 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 on a road to recovery. How long does this fix period go on for? Um, as long as it takes for me to to be able to be straight up with a person. Straight up. This is what it is. Does that mean that it is. means, you know, like restraining too? Like refraining? Yeah. Does that mean Ab- that's Abs- what I mean. like abstinence that's what i'm practicing right now are you really yeah practicing abstinence peter guns it's hard it's rough is this true i'm yeah i have to this is not what i this is not what i envision for you this is not that's not what i would, would imag- well, imagine it's not, <laughs> it's not what i envision either <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's part of what you know wow that's a big step yeah it's hard but it feels good so now are i read you, a lot you, i exercise i'm back in my music and are you okay yeah. Okay. Because, well, are, you, are you irritable? What? <laughs> <laughs> I just try to occupy myself, my time okay. with my kids, uh, reading, music, do something to like get your mind off it. But yeah, sometimes you know I'm. Wow, so I'm you are angry. taking this thing serious. This is not just like I'm going to therapy for a few sessions. Like you're really in a in a. Yeah. It, it, when I find something that works, I roll with it, and and if it's going to make me better and try to make me a, you know make me a better person. Wow, Mister Guns. You have to. Good for you. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully we'll see. Uh, will we get to see some of this like in the next season? I hope so. This work? All right. I hope so. I hope so. Because I don't know that this is up loving hip hop's alley. Well, I mean, <laughs> believe it or not, they want me to do better. They, yeah. you know, they, they're they not happy with the whole back and forth thing. I mean, it works. Stop it. No. I mean, no disrespect to anybody like Moan or anybody specifically there, but as a TV show and as a brand of what they do, that well, had but- to be good for ratings. I would After? fast. I would fast forward the show and wait for Cardi B and wait for y'all. I heard everybody says that. <laughs> I would wait for you. For I know. Part. I believe that, but I think that you no know, disrespect to anybody else on the show, but those just happen to be my two favorite parts of the show. Well, the thing is this right here: you grow to meet people up there like Stephanie Gale and Madi and all these people that yeah. that that grow to love you as a person, and they hate to see, you know like they become your friends, so they hate to see you go down that same road. And then on the other side is okay, this is getting tired. Mm. You know, at what at what point do do people say oh, I'm tired of watching these same little? Wh- when do these girls wake up? When does he stop doing that? You know, so that's another thing. So hopefully, There'll you know, some people evolution. will say evolution. Well, hopefully, people will say you know, Peter, Peter, um, he's trying. You know, we want to see Peter do better. Hopefully, people. What happens wanna... if one of them comes up with a new man on the show next season? That's always possible. You gonna be okay? No. Oh, I'm gonna be stupid <laughs> jealous. <laughs> you're gonna be. There ain't gonna be nothing I can do about it. But it, yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be jealous. But it, you know, I'm. I'm. What if man. Tara starts dating like, um, uh, rich dollars? That never happened. <laughs> what if that's I'm, my brother? That sounds disgusting. I mean, that's very very li- loving hip hop though. Nah, I'm just that, going for the. We gotta do something else. We gotta think of somebody, somebody else. else. <laughs> okay, somebody else. Tara, not Tara. Tara. She's yeah. not going that route. Nah, she was. Just, that just sounds crazy. <laughs> 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 that's not good. Oh, but, you made no, me look forward to it, though. I, lo- I look forward to seeing. I'm trying. I'm, you know, listen. Again, I'm trying. That's good. all I can say. I'm human. I'm trying. I don't, you know, and I'm going to give it my all. So, and you so ain't far, kill so nobody. Good. No, I'm loving somebody. That's yeah, it. Too many people, but <laughs> but we're getting back. We're getting past that, though. We're getting past that. Yes, we're getting past that. All right, good. Yes. All right, so he is part owner at Get Soul. Go uptown. Go check that out. It's like soul food and Latin food. Shout out to Jimmy. Yes. Uh, it's the old Don. It's the old Don Cookie in New Rochelle. Right, it's Get nice. Soul now. Come we through. had a good time. We were there like a uh, week ago, two weeks ago with yeah, Fat Joe. Fat Joe and that was nice. Pecas. Pecas. He did. We did all the way up. He did yeah. all the way up. It was that was a, so much fun. Yeah, we had a good time. And yeah. you did a little freestyle. Yeah. And did, you uh, were talking about the girls in the freestyle. I was trying to remember <laughs> what you were saying, but we was drinking. It was fast. I don't remember what. Yeah. That, well, I did deja vu instead of doing the verses from deja vu. I did two verses of a song I have about the the girls. Yeah. So. And where does that live? If somebody wants to hear that. Um. You know what? It's called "Do What You Do." It's on. It's on iTunes. It's um. You can go to iTunes and get that, but it's not the version that I did on the um. Uh, at the club, but same same verses, but not that version. But 
Yeah, it's a good record. I love you it. You want to say what you said or, or some of what you said? Uh, Tara could do better, true. Amina could do better, too. Yeah, she can go and find a better me, but I'm awake because I ain't trying to find a better you. Buster Rhymes told me not to do this shit. Sway said, treat it like some movie shit. Charlemagne said, go and get the money because you did it, motherfucker, and you can't go and do this shit. <laughs> Ebro said, F who don't condone it. You a scumbag. Peter, own it. I own it not forever, though, because black queens around the world deserve better, yo. Better husband, better man. A better me will make my son become a better dad. And better men is what we need, not Peter Guns being a creep on your TV screen. I like this, Peter. I'm tuned in for it. Thanks, man. And then we'll look, and then I'll turn. I'll tune in for the sequel of Peter Guns Plus Ten or Eight. Yes, <laughs> Peter <laughs> Guns Reloaded, clear, baby. Clear. <laughs> All right. And anything else? What else Thanks, do people man. need to look forward? Yeah, look, look, for look that. out for. Um, look for my son's mixtape, uh, Criminal Minded, and uh, Two Guns Up. And I'm working on a bunch of new music. Look for that. And Who's calling? Please, Amina please. or Tara? Which one? Who's? Somebody's calling you right now. <laughs> All right, let me see. I don't know. <laughs> I, bet, I bet it's one. It's Lord Tariq. Oh, Lord Tariq. Yeah. Where, yeah. Wh- Yo, Lord. What's up, boy? I'm on the air with Angie Martinez. Tariq, what up? what up? Angie, oh my God. <laughs> my first Grammy came from Angie, man. What the? What did he say? He says, first Grammy came, came from you. Oh, what's up, baby? Uh, How are you? I love you, Angie. I miss you. Come say hi. You should have came today. You should have came with Peter today to come say what's up. I was going to ask him how y'all were, if you still good, whatever, what yeah, y'all we, working we on. We still performing. We Clearly. When's the show in Poughkeepsie? Uh, the 21st, May 21st, yeah. Poughkeepsie, come, New York. Come see us. And I'm also on a stage play called Flow. Wow. What is yeah, that? That's in D.C. Me, I'll be sure, Angie Stone. It's a DC May 7th and 8th. I'm not sure when it gets really? to New York. Yeah, I'm acting, baby. Trent Moody. All right, I'm going to call you. I'm about to bounce. I love that. Hi, boy. Well, wait. So tell me real quick with this play. What is that? Um, the stage play is called um, Flo. Flo, uh, Flo is an artist whose mom is a pastor. He's in the church. And I own a record label called Debut Records. And I'm trying to convince Flo to sign to my label. But his mother's like, nah, only rapping he going to do is for God. Amazing. Yeah. It's good to see you, honey. Got to do something else, can't, you know. Congrats on the babies. Good luck Thanks. with, with uh, the Bronx. Yes. <laughs> can't wait to see you. Bronx, that's a cute name. Kiss too. a little feet. Peter Guns, everybody. Thank you.